Erica Edison Erickson from the radio station had posted audio from a video that I did. Um, he edited my words and he posted this audio tape, played it on the Neil Bortz program. And the title he used is Miss Maxie and the Entitlement Program. I'm sorry, the Entitlement Mentality. Now, you know, he's accusing me of having an entitlement mentality. Now, no time in my, in my video did I say that I want a free car or a free house. I didn't say that I, I want everything in life for free, you know. Um, I'm for one that is really against entitlement programs, especially when people can work, they're healthy enough to go get a job, and these people are receiving all kinds of benefits from my hard work as a tax-paying citizen in this country. Um, I have issues with that. I always have. I've always ma maintained a job for myself, you know, because I didn't want to depend on the government to take care of my every need. Um, I think the government is too massive. I think that the government intrudes in our personal lives more than I want the government to intrude in our personal lives. And I'm, I'm against big government for one thing. I'm against big government. Um, and I resent the fact that people feel that all Obama supporters or perceived Obama supporters have an entitlement mentality. Now the person that is accusing me of having an entitlement mentality is only saying this because he himself is a racist. I mean, I actually went online and did some research on this Eric Edison, I mean Erickson character and you know, this guy is unbelievable. He is um, he's probably worse than Neil Vortz, to be honest. Um, I didn't think anybody could be um, worse than Neil Bortz. Um, actually, Neil Bortz made some comments that were very controversial a while back. He said that these urban thugs need to be shot dead in the streets, you know. Something like that, he said. He said that people need to go and purchase a gun. They need to learn how to use the gun. They need to get a permit for the gun. They need to carry the gun. and whenever these urban thugs come upon them or what have you they need to shoot them dead in the streets or what have you now this guy actually thinks that the, the, the problem with America is black youth he actually believes in his heart that the problem with America today is the black youth I mean why do you assume that the black youth is the problem? The system we live in creates lawlessness every day. This westernized culture that we live in has created the kind of lawlessness that you see very rampant today among today's youth. So before you make any more racist remarks about shooting black youth in the streets dead you need to examine your own selves you hypocrite examine yourselves even though I don't necessarily support all of President Obama's policies I feel that many of the attacks that are against him is not just based on his policies it's not just about the fact that people feel he's fundamentally changing the country. I feel that much of the attacks against President Barack Obama is based on his skin color. <laughs> I mean, I, I think a lot of it is racism. You know, and a lot of these talk show hosts, radio personalities, a lot of them, I feel, are undercover racist. And that's my opinion. You know, um, they try to 
project to the public that they're not racist or they're not prejudiced in some form but many of them really are prejudiced they have they have um, biased opinions against people and a lot of them they, they try to mask their racism the best way they could the best way they can or what have you but I can see right through you. <laughs>